It's Friday. Let's do some Florida. It's time for Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. A look at the weirdest stories from our weirdest state. Fraud hits Florida. Big time fraud. Uh, In fact, um, this fraud takes on many, many different examples. As we get uh, uh, into things with a Mercedes that tipped off cops to this fraudster. Florida con man sought $23 million in property, a $132,000 Mercedes, and listened to his fraud. Elaborate lies. In the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office, they're talking about elaborate lies that caught up with this con... con is this a... Um, has he been convicted yet? Are you talking about Donald Trump? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you insult an ex-president? My God. What? Man who is... Uh, you know, to be honest, he's probably the most honest man in, that God ever created, uh, Donald Trump. So I think you have yourself uh, an apology. To I think I'm the most honest no. human being, perhaps well, that God fraud. ever created. Uh, you said fraud. You right. said con man. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, this con man was so convincing, he managed to get an invitation to the home of sportscaster Dick Vital, where he agreed to donate three million dollars to his foundation. Dick Vital donated three million. This guy was a two-time felon. He was on probation using a false name, and he's still getting all of this stuff, including the $3 million donation from Dick Vital. Deputies got the report of a series of suspicious transactions involving a man who identified himself as Robert Bonagino. Um, or Bonagino, maybe he says it. Bonagino hired a local realtor after claiming that he was a business owner visiting Sarasota. In response to Hurricane Ian. And this guy's serving up BS like a short order chef. Banagino, as he called himself, expressed a, uh, interest in a second residential property valued at $5.2 million after looking at the first commercial property valued at $17.5 million. So this is a fraud of pretty gargantuan proportions. This guy, wow. Wait, yeah. fraud involving property values? <laughs> <laughs> John, how dare you if you're implying... I think I'm the most honest human being, yeah. perhaps, that God ever created. And that you could insult... Maybe he's just his role model. It's his role model. I think you have to really have a talk with yourself about your attitude. Oh, I do. Uh, at the local, uh, As the local realtor began this transaction process, so the guy wants a $17.5 million place, a commercial space, and a $5.2 million space, a residential place, He also was indicating that he was interested in purchasing a Rolls Royce. I mean, this guy is, its he must be that good because this con involves the acquisition of really expensive stuff. The realtor then connected him with a luxury car dealership and he agreed to buy a Mercedes valued at more than $132,000. Why not? Yeah. While at the dealership. He mentioned his millions in assets and the need to donate money for tax purposes. The dealership manager introduced him to sportscaster Dick Vital. Yeah, so the donation actually went the other way. It went from this guy, allegedly. He was saying he was going to donate to Vital's um, uh, foundation. Oh, I see. So I I get it. So he didn't get the $3 million. Vital got Vital's charity, at least he was saying. That's how he got the meeting. I'm interested in donating to your charity. Right. I'm serious. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. All right. Vital, a longtime resident of uh, Bradenton, Florida, hosts an annual gala for pediatric cancer research. Investigators didn't reveal how the man's scheme came unraveled, but suspicions were aroused when he used a different last name while signing the purchase for the agreement for the Mercedes. Detectives soon identified the fraudster as a 48-year-old Sarasota man who has two felony convictions and is currently... Out on probation for grand theft. That's hey! right. Nice. He was arrested and faces a single felony charge of scheme to defraud more than fifty thousand dollars. So uh, what he's, he's got going here, here is, a is a situation. situation. He's in custody on a hundred thousand dollars bond. 
Um, $100,000, that's no problem. I got that right on me. Meantime, on the other side of town in Florida, an attorney who fought the Florida helmet law is now dead in a motorcycle crash while not wearing, if you guessed, a helmet. Mm. Yeah. Ron Smith is 66. His girlfriend, 62. They were on their way to a funeral. How, you know, bizarre and sad is this? A group of riders riding alongside them headed to the American Legion where there was a funeral. He was a member of ABATE, A-B-A-T-E, a brotherhood against totalitarian enactments. What? Yeah, I know. Well, he died uh, doing what he loved. Yeah. He uh, lobbied and that group lobbied against the law that requires helmets. For years they lobbied. He represents clients who ran afoul of Florida's motorcycle requirements. He's represented them in court cases. So he's a well-known uh, lawyer and attorney for just these issues. One of the cases, by the way, went all the way to the Second District Court of Appeal, and it ruled that Florida's helmet law at the time was constitutional. Uh, anyway, he um, uh, he's no longer with us. Died in a motorcycle crash, and uh, of a they head were injury. riding of a head. Well, yeah, yeah. So he fought against uh, the very thing that could have saved his life. Oh, Kim, well done, sir. Well that done. That was beautiful, Kim. How are you? Yeah, that was excellent. Uh, did she pass away as well or not? Uh, his I think girlfriend she was who was not seriously injured or something. And but she's not. Yeah, not completely. Um, she's still still in the game. Well, that's good. No, uh, she might have died too. She, I don't know. Well, have to look it up. All right, good. We'll have to do a, a follow up. <laughs> Google it. Yes, Kim. How are you? Okay. The Florida commissioner and former beauty queen is guilty of lying to see her lover in a detention facility. I love that. The heart wants what it wants. Am I right, people? So what? He's behind bars. A South Florida village commissioner and former beauty queen has been... I don't know why they throw that in except to say, hey, she's hot. I really don't know well, why. It's Florida and that's relevant there. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, Trump's um, the girlfriend, in the the girlfriend also wants that in the headline. The girlfriend. <laughs> now yeah. Kim comes in. The girlfriend. She died. Also. Kim, how are you? I had to look it up. Come on. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I'm, I'm setting up another story right now. Okay, okay, I, I, okay. We're past that. My gosh. Oh my Why are you yelling? <sighs> okay, the girlfriend also died in that last story. A South Florida. We have processes and protocols. We have processes and protocols and standards. A South Florida village commissioner and former beauty queen has been sentenced to a year probation with 50 hours of community service for pretending to be a paralegal to get into a federal immigration detention center to see her romantic partner. I love a good caper. I, it's pretty straightforward. Who does it harm? She wants to see her, her lover, if I can use that word, and he's in a detention center or prison. Juliana well, Claire processes. Strout. Yeah, they have okay. processes as well. You're right. She was sentenced in Miami federal court after pleading guilty to misdemeanor charges of attempting to enter and entering, actually, successfully, a federal facility using fraud and false pretenses. Mm. Yeah. She was elected to the North Bay Village Commission in 2018. She's still on the commission. Her term ends next month. She's not running for re-election. <laughs> Look, she's probably spending a lot of time with her boyfriend, you know. Uh, but well, and she has beauty queen duties, right? That's true. That's a very good point. Never Those thought of that. life, I think. Yeah. Uh, she presented officials with a letter written on letterhead from a real law firm that, you know, claimed she was a paralegal and that was her client. But she'd never worked for the firm. And attorneys there, of course, say that they never authorized her to use their letterhead. So on one occasion, after initially being denied entry, she presented officers with her North Bay Village Commissioner badge. Yeah, you got to throw everything up against the wall and see what sticks. She explained that she was a public official and asked to enter on that basis. She won you the get a mis badge if you're a commissioner? Apparently you do. Now you get badges. Yeah, so it's uh, that's a kind what? of... What? Well, that's true. They're, the badges are... Look, if Herschel Walker can have a badge, why shouldn't a commissioner in Florida have a badge? By the way, she won Miss Rhode Island in 2009. 
and she did compete as Miss America as well. So I don't uh, know how hard it is to win Miss Rhode Island. There's like nobody that lives in that state, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say that. How are you? Oh like my God! Yeah, I guess that didn't wasn't as bad as it could have been. <laughs> um, a Florida sheriff's canine gives birth to ten bloodhound puppies. You know how they have the dogs that they use to do anything from search and rescue to uh, you know to finding suspects. Uh, they're announcing proudly the uh, Brevard County, Florida Sheriff's Office that. Their bloodhound canine welcomed 10 puppies this week. Daisy May delivered six male and four female pups. Yeah. What do you send the canine that has everything on her? If you want to send a card, again, it's the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. A dog walker discovers a stolen animatronic dinosaur in Newport Ritchie, Florida. Police say a woman walking her dog in downtown Newport Ritchie, I think that's on the Gulf Coast, saw the dinosaur down an alley about two blocks from where it was taken. She said she'd seen a story on the news about the missing dinosaur. She called the cops. The stolen dino was set to be featured as part of a pack of hunting dinosaurs. The exhibit will feature around 100 species of life-size dinosaurs. But was, and so they'll travel around like a, you know, it, it's a display. Uh, they had set this up in the education center near Newport Ritchie, but this was stolen. That's not fake. No, that's, that's not fake. That's real. And, uh, or wait a minute. That's not fake. Uh, it is. That's real. It is fake, but it's, the story's not fake. It's real. Um, the exhibit owners say the dinosaur had some damage, but nothing that can't be fixed. So uh, all's well that ends well there. Yeah, that's going to affect the resale value. Yeah. <laughs> that's as close, by the way, as we come to a reptile in today's Florida offering. Because that is Friday Fabulous Florida for today. This has been Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. Y'all come back now, here. Yeah? We have to choose a favorite. Let's see what the chat uh, reveals. You can text you in your text favorite it? as I review them. The fraudster caught buying $23 million in property, a 132000 Mercedes. Uh, the attorney who fought the Florida's helmet laws, dying in a motorcycle crash because wasn't wearing a helmet. His girlfriend died as well, according to Kim. Isn't that what you said, Kim? It is indeed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, the Florida commissioner and former beauty queen guilty of lying to see her lover in a detention facility. Uh, the Florida sheriff canine giving birth to 10 bloodhound puppies. And the dog walker discovering the stolen animatronic dinosaur in a Newport Ritchie alley near Tampa. What is your favorite? I ask you in the chat room. Let's just see a few. Helmet attorney, helmet, helmet, helmet. A lot of helmet. Lawyer who died in motorcycle accident. Attorney without the helmet, says John. Yvonne, you gotta love Florida. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Beauty queen in jail. There's one M. Oak helmet from Jules T. But I am seeing uh, it's the it's the helmet story. Another dead lawyer as a rider. The helmet denier says Ricky. Huh. Uh. Beth Farmer, the helmet story. Helmet seems to be Lydia. All right, so I ask you, the assembled mass, uh, what do you think? Kim, what's your favorite, please? I'm going for helmet as well. Helmet as well? Uh, yeah. John Daly? I like stolen dinosaur in the alley. Yeah. That's on brand for Florida. Uh, true, true. There is a lot of Florida in that story. Uh I like the woman who posed and got the paperwork, the fake paperwork, so yeah. she could go see her lover in prison. Yeah. Fake I, it till you know. make it. Fake it till you make it, everyone. Yeah.